Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your online business tips video for the day. Now, today we're gonna to start our next five part course as I mentioned last night. And so what we're gonna be talking about <clears throat> is brand identity. I did a training recently that kind of talked about brand identity and I never quite realized what it was. Essentially what it means is that what it is that your brand actually stands for, right? Especially like online, for example, uh, it's a massive thing because there's a way that we need to differentiate ourselves from the rest of the market. How do we stand out? Like me, for example, I come on and I provide uh, value daily, you know, at least five days a week, you know, and that's on a bad week. Uh, typically it's six and in, in previous cases it was seven. Obviously I'll cut that back now because I want to spend that Saturday doing my own thing or doing family things. And that's kind of just part of my like health, uh, part of my health goals, right? And, and trying to utilize that part of life as well. So with this week, uh, I'm going to be talking about brand identity. I'm going to go, be going into five different things that I actually discovered that my brand really stood for. And, and honestly, it made me quite proud what it was that I realized that it's not something that I want my brand to stand for. It's not, it's what I believe my brand stands for. You know what I mean? If you hopefully you understand the difference. So for me, value-based marketing, and I, I wrote this Sammy style because this is something that I misunderstood from the beginning. So I wanted to come, come, kind of come at you from my own perspective. And that was this. Value-based marketing is where you, where you essentially do marketing based on the values and the ethics of your business. When I started out, I didn't know what it actually meant, right? I actually meant, because for me at that particular time, this was probably about a year and a half, two years ago, I thought that value-based meant that the more value you give, right? the more, the better the results you're going to get. And so for me, that's what value-based marketing was up, you know, until I did this training and look, that's cool with me. I don't really care that I fucked up. I don't really care that I didn't quite understand what it meant. What it means for me, value-based marketing is giving so much value that your life and your business is driven by this simple fact. It's driven by the, by the fact that you're able to give so much value that you don't necessarily have to go out and ask people for business, right? Um, i.e. Uh, a prospect thing, which is something that I hate, but uh, instead it's, it's more along the lines of attraction marketing, if you will. But for me personally, it's a lot more proactive, right? So you, you put out value, you give so much value that you, these videos, uh, my daily emails, for example, motivational and inspirational quotes and tips that I put out on a daily basis. This is all part of my strategy, right? No, it's not some tactic or technique that I'm only going to do for a month and then I'm going to stop. This is part of my daily strategy that I'm going to, that I'm going to be applying forever unless I find something that's, that's more monetarily returning, right? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, for example, I've been to read with someone that I used to follow on a daily basis because he had a live feed that he used to do every single day. And it was anywhere from, you know, 15 to 30 minutes of, of online marketing tips, which I absolutely loved. And so I followed this on a daily basis. That was part of his strategy. But then he stopped, right? He stopped because he found other activities that were more leverageable for his particular income at his particular situation, right? And so I found the same thing to be true for other marketers as well. It's not necessarily that they don't enjoy doing live videos. It's not necessarily that they don't enjoy uh, bringing value on a daily basis. They still do that, but they found other ways that are more leverageable for their business at their particular time, right? And for me, these are one of this is one of my highest leverage activities. I get people that come on and watch every single day, and I provide more and more tips and more and more value to the point where they get to a point where they reach out to me. I don't have to message them and say, "Hey, look, do you want to do business with me?" Hey, look, you know, buy my shit. Hey, you, I, I don't know you, but you know, can you check out this, you know, thirty dollar product that I want fifty percent off? No, I'm sorry, but that's chump change. And, and, and for me personally, I, I, I have much better ways of doing business. And the, the uh, number one that my brand identity stands for is value-based marketing, Sammy style, right? Not traditional style, guys. Remember that I screwed up what it actually meant at the very beginning. And so for me, I want to give so much value that people reach out to me and want to do business with me without me having a helmet. The moment that they reach out to me, I'm in business, right? Because I didn't have to track them down. They're tracking me down. All I need to do at this point is provide even more value, answer questions, help them out with whatever struggles they're actually going through at the moment. Um, and if there's any way that I can leverage uh, the knowledge that I already have to help somebody else, then not only am I already in because they're reaching out to me, but then I'll just put myself an authority pedestal if I wasn't already there, which means that when they are ready to do business, because not everyone buys every day, but somebody buys it, but there's always somebody who buys every day, right? And so you want to be the person in the forefront of mind that when it comes to them thinking about doing business, 
they think about you all right and that's how i how i uh, attack my the, the value-based business side of, of my marketing strategy so look i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know do go ahead and, and add me as a friend if we're not friends or if you're watching this go ahead and subscribe to the channel either way give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and got some value from it yourself so that we can kick this all the way to the top of the feed so everybody else that's trying to start out their business trying to figure out how to make this thing successful can follow along themselves and start making money and doing and building a business that's going to be long term profitable and, and a lot a much better way of building something rather than kind of just throwing shit against the wall hoping that it'll stick all right so with that amazing really stupid analogy I'll, I'll say goodbye peace out much love and i'll see you all again tomorrow in our online businesses video part two of brand identity Thank you.